بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبینا محمد وعلا علی وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد The question arises when should we slaughter if a person is going to slaughter a, a lamb or a sheep or a goat for the Eid when is the time to slaughter? Is it before the prayer or is it after the prayer? And what is the hukum? What is the ruling regarding this? In the hadith an Jundu ibn Abdullah al-Bakhli al-Bajli right radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma qala salla rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yawm al-nahar thumma khatab thumma dhabah وقال من ذبح قبل أن يصلي فليذبح أخرى مكانها مكانتها مكانها ومن لم يذبح فليذبح بإسم الله رواه بخاري ومسلم. In this hadith, the hadith of Jundub ibn Abdullah al Bajli رضي الله تعالى عنهما, he said that the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said, or that the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم prayed on the day of Eid prayed on the day of Nahar Nahar referring to Eid Al-Adha then he made the khutbah then he slaughtered uh, a sheep or uh, an, an animal and then he said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam whoever slaughters an animal before the before he prays, then he should slaughter another animal in its place, uh, meaning he has to repeat the, that slaughtering after the prayer. And whoever does not slaughter, or then he should slaughter in the name of Allah. In this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It clarifies for us when we should uh, slaughter the uh, animal that we are sacrificing for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is no mystery that this is a great act of ibadah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if a person is able to do so. If a person has the means, the financial means, then they should slaughter a sheep or a goat or a cow or what have you or a camel on the day of Yomu Eid, Eid al-Adha. Ayyul Habba, the ulama, they have some differences with regards to one of the masail that comes up in this hadith. And so we'll quickly mention some of the ikhtilaf or the differences between the ulama that Shaykh Ali Bassam rahimahullah ta'ala that he mentioned. He says, قال, خلاف العلماء العلماء ذي دفر ذهب أبو حنيفة ومالك وثوري إلى أن الأذهية واجبة على المعسر لقوله تعالى فصلي لربك وانهر So the Imam Abu Hanifa Imam Malik and Imam Sufyan Al-Thawri رحمهم الله جميعا they hold the view that it is wajib upon a person if they are able to to slaughter an animal on Yom Eid after the prayer so they hold the view that it is wajib for the person who is able to do so and they use this evidence the ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem فَسَلِّ لِي رَبِّكَ وَنْهَرُ so pray to your Lord and وَنْهَرُ Yani, uh, or slaughter an animal. Then the uh, Sheikh he mentioned the other view. He says, "Wadhaba jamhur ila anha sunnah muakida, wal awla adam tarkiha liman qadr alayha, li anna Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam qal, man kan lahu saa wa lam yadh." فَلَمْ يَقْرَبَنَّ مُصَلَّانَ So the Shaykh mentioned the other view which is the view of the Jamhur ulama. The majority of the ulama hold that 
slaughtering Yomu Eid is Sunnah Mu'akkidah, meaning it is not an obligation, but it is highly recommended. It is something the Prophet ﷺ did not leave. It's a great act of ibadah that you should not leave. And he said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, that uh, it is not befitting that a person leaves off this sunnah if they are able to do so, meaning if they have the means to uh, purchase an animal and slaughter it. And that he mentioned as evidence, but he didn't mention where this hadith comes from, but he mentioned a hadith in the message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, so we don't know uh, its authenticity is not mentioned here, but he mentioned a hadith where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Men kana lahu sa'a, you know, whoever is able to, whoever has the means, and does not slaughter, then he should not come close to our musalla, you know, to the place where we pray for the Eid. So this shows us, ayyola habba, the importance, if nothing else, that it is sunnah mu'akkidah, and it's imperative that we strive to practice the sunnah if you're able to do so, to slaughter a sheep, slaughter a lamb, and slaughter a, a, a goat, whatever you're able to do so, uh, whatever you're able to do, and in accordance with the sunnah, the message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that you should distribute it, keep a third for yourself and your family, a third that you cook, and a third that you give away uh, as, as charity. And this is most befitting in accordance with the sunnah of the message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who are able to sacrifice and who perform this great act of worship coming closer to Allah. Because this is Ayyul Habba, an act of ibadah, an act of worship. And all worship belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning that if you slaughter in the name of your wali or the name of a saint or the name of your grandparents or the name of a great sheikh or the great name of someone deceased or even the name of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that this is shirk so ayyallah habba make sure that you say another benefit we gave in this hadith that was mentioned is that you say bi ismillah you say bismillah that you perform that you say in the name of Allah when you're slaughtering and we ask Allah the almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil wa sallallahu alaihi wasallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wasallam